Hello everyone, my name is Miss Maria and today we are going to be talking about emotions and we're going to read a book that kind of has some emotions in it too. So first of all, I want to ask, does anyone know what emotions are? Emotions are kind of like how you feel, the mood that you're in. So like if someone gave you a flower. Oh, that would make me so happy if someone gave me a flower. And let's say another emotion is sad. So like if someone took away that flower from me, I would be so sad and maybe even cry. So emotions are just how you feel and so many different things can make you feel so many different emotions. So today we're gonna to talk about some of those. So I'm going to show you some emotions and what they look like. So this is scared. This little boy looks so scared. It looks like someone maybe popped around the corner and made him scream. And how you say scared in Spanish is asustado, asustado, perfect. So this boy, little boy looks so scared. This next one is angry. She looks so angry. And how you say angry in Spanish is enojado, enojado. Oh, she looks so angry. I wonder what made her so angry. Her nose is scrunched. Her eyebrows are kind of down. Her arms are crossed. That's how you know she's angry. Silly. This little boy looks so silly. He is making a silly face, sticking his tongue out and his thumbs in his ears, making a silly, silly face. And how you say silly in Spanish is tonto. This next one is confused. Oh my goodness, this little baby is so confused. He is like, what is happening here? What is going on? And how you say confused is, in Spanish, is con, confundido, confundido. There's confused. This next one is sad. Oh, he looks so sad. He even has a little tear coming out of his eye. He, he's making a frowny face. And how you say sad in Spanish is triste. And the last one is happy. And how you say happy in Spanish is feliz. So this little boy is smiling so big. That's how you know he's happy. All right. So now we are going to read our book. All right. So the book that we're going to read about uh, emotions is called Leonardo the Terrible Monster. And this is by Mo Williams. So there's Leonardo right there. Already he looks kind of scared. See his eyebrows? Kind of looks scared. All right. Leonardo, the terrible monster. Leonardo was a terrible monster. He looks sad over there. He's making a little frowny face. I wonder why he's sad. He couldn't scare anyone. Oh, he looks frustrated and kind of angry. Probably screaming because he's so mad that he can't scare anybody. He didn't have 1,642 teeth like Tony. 
look at Tony. Down here it says, note, not all teeth shown. So those aren't even all his teeth. We can't even see them all. He wasn't big like Eleanor. She looks so big. You can only see her legs. And he wasn't just plain weird like Hector. There's Hector. Leonardo tried very hard to be scary, but he just wasn't. Look at all the things he's doing. He put a bag on his head. He's making a silly face, jumping around. And he's, he just wasn't being scary enough. So now he's sad again. One day, Leonardo had an idea. He would find the most scaredy cat kid in the whole wide world. He looks like he's coming up with a good idea. And scare the tuna salad out of him. <laughs> he looks so happy because he came up with a good idea. Leonardo researched until he found the perfect candidate. Look at all those books. He's searching and searching. Sam. There's little Sam. He kind of looks maybe sad or scared. Leonardo snuck up on the poor, unsuspecting boy. Look at him. He's coming up on him. And get in. The monster gave it all he had. Blaggle, blaggle, wah, grr, roar. He is scaring him. And he just looks so surprised. He doesn't know what to do. Until the little boy cried. Oh no. He's so sad he cried. Yes, cheered Leonardo. I did it. I finally scared the tuna salad out of somebody. Look, he's so proud of himself. No, you didn't, snapped Sam. Look, he's saying, no, you didn't. Oh, yeah, replied Leonardo. Then why are you crying? Why is he crying then? If, if Leonardo didn't scare him, I wonder why he was crying. <gasps> my mean big brother stole my action figure right out of my hands while I was playing with it. And then he broke it on purpose. And I, and it was my favorite toy. And I tried to fix it, but I couldn't. And I got so mad. I kicked the table and I stubbed my toe on the same foot that I hurt last month when I accidentally slipped in the bathtub after I got soap in my eyes after trying to wash out the bird poo that my brother's cockatoo pooped on my head and I don't have my friends and I don't have any friends and my tummy hurts. Oh, those are all the reasons why he's sad and why he was crying. Look at him. He's so upset. That's why. Now Leonardo looks kind of sad too. Then Leonardo made a very big decision. Instead of being a terrible monster, he would become a wonderful friend. And he's hugging him saying, it's okay. So he's being a good friend. And now they're smiling and walking together and holding hands. So it looks like they're happy. But that didn't mean that he couldn't try to scare his friend every now and then. Boo! Oh, he got so scared. He's shaking. And now he's chasing. Sam is chasing Leonardo now. The end. So it looks like they scare each other now. That is it. All right. There were so many different emotions in that book. 
those crazy. So now what I want everyone to do is to get some paper and some crayons or markers or color pencils, anything you want. And I want you to make your own monster with the emotion that you are feeling. So I'll show you an example. This is mine. I made a happy monster because I am so happy that I got to read a story to you guys today. So this is my little happy monster and I colored him. And so I want you guys to do the same thing, but with a different monster of your own creation and with the feeling and emotion that you are feeling right now. So you could be sad or happy or excited or nervous, confused, whatever you are feeling. I want you to draw that emotion on your monster. And then when you're finished, I want you to turn to a neighbor or a friend and talk about that emotion with your friend and why you chose to make your monster the way you did. So I hope you guys will enjoy this little activity and I hope you enjoyed the book. And thank you for letting me read to you today. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.